world created in laboratories under microscopes and in cow's blood a scourge to cleanse the earth of the conservative right-minded world's enemies but once released quickly to become a friend to none and the living proof that not only does bisexuality exist but also that some of those stuffy scientists and politicians aren't as great as they claim i'm your first date in your briefest moments of passion you know the ones with the lingering aftertaste of blissful ignorance and rampant stupidity i'm your rape and brutal virgin sacrifice i'm the biblically prophesied purge of fire here to cleanse the planet of what goes against god's desires I'm the illest of all ill fates, the greatest death sentence, greater even than that bullet to the brain, because with the exception of the hearts of families and friends, the bullet kills only one, and I lie dormant in the bodies and on the tongues of those who have taken me in, waiting to kill again and again, I'm your worst enemy and your best friend, the one thing you are afraid to love, and yet your only hope of spiritual survival once you know why I exist in you, I'm here to steal the soul of Africa by way of miseducation and a lack of medication, watching children suffer and die because they are losing their parents, caregivers, and their own lives, I'm the best kept secret when you notice that your husband doesn't make love to you anymore and that your wife has been creeping out at night. I'm the result of a lack of information and people not having the technology to cure themselves of me. I was created with the ability to mutate on your ass and who knows, if I'm feeling froggy, then I might just jump to an airborne state that is. Have you breathing me in like the oxygen you hold so dear? Diagnosed years later with no identified risk. I am the infiltrator of bloodstreams, mindsets, and dreams. I am the truth of the matter even to those who refuse to acknowledge my existence and especially to those who thought they were immune to me. I'm the lamb's wool over the eyes of suburban Anytown, USA, where parents choose to do the New Testament thing and turn the other cheek while I follow the old law and take an eye for an eye. I'm the day of reckoning and the reality of young girls and boys who thought I was far too taboo to be a fact. I'm the infected that will have you not knowing how to act or react. People often ask me, who am I, when they should really be asking, where am I, and when am I, and what am I, but most importantly, how am I, and where did I come from, and who is my father? I am the world's ugliest test tube baby, a faithful science experiment gone terribly wrong. I am the ever-present destruction of the world, rolling in on chariots of fire and soft kisses and words like, I am the subject of numerous debates, and it is by your tears and fears that I grow. I am your terror to walk into that clinic and get those results of the reason more people now than ever donate blood. I am the syphilis and gonorrhea of the next generation. I am the doctor approaching you with that solemn look on his face by being the balancer of fates because you were taught that thinking was wrong. I am the one that had you fooled until the day that someone dropped a dime on you. I am your destiny if you fail to see the fact that my largest molecules are still 50 times smaller than the smallest four on a latex condom. I am a Jerry Springer topic and more a poker show with D. West screaming in your young dumb and filling up face that you have more to live for. I am the co-defendant of poverty and I am breeding like roaches. I am the one with no face. I am not black and I am not white. I am not male nor female. I am not young or old. I simply am. You still want to know who I am? I am the owner of the dead. I am Irvin Johnson, the son of Nelson Mandela. I am Whitney White and Cedric Hill. I am Rwanda, Ghana and South Africa. I am one billion strong in America, billion strong across the world. I am Kaposi, Sarcoma, lesions, pneumonia and the common cold of my strongest. I am human immunodeficiency virus and my only love child is acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. I am HIV and if you opt to not wake up and step back before it is too late, I am you.